You have the red Ingmar player Mustafan versus the blue Man of the West player Ali Harvey in the game number one on the map Plains of Linden. Good against Evil, my favorite. I like that one. Double farm opening and early all of the Kingsmen after the first mill. That's gonna be the build order for Mustafa. I mean, again, in the group stage, in each group we have four members and only two of them can get the chance to advance to the next round. And for that reason, this is gonna be very important because it can eventually determine who is going to be the number one player and number two player. Sometimes it's even better to be the number two player because of the next round. So when you be number one, then you will eventually play against somebody who's number two, you know? And it can be a bit more difficult in some certain situations. Two mills, all of the Kingsmen, into Trailmaster number two. And two farms, three farms, barracks. So the units from Mustafa are going to be a bit faster. But the question is, what is he going to use them for? Is he going to try to creep? Is he going to try to push? Oh, Spearman. So he's going to try to creep the troll layer. Oh, I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> because the Trailmaster units, they are kind of tricky. That can backfire. That's why you need the help of the builder. I think without the builder, you cannot creep the troll layer with this pikemen. They are the worst pikemen in the game because they cannot even use the porcupine. For, I mean, to, to be honest, they are even better than the half troll pikemen because they have at least revenge damage. So if the calf is trampling them, they get damaged. But if you, you, you cannot trample the half troll swordman or pikemen. No standing around. No standing around. So the creep is easy, but, oh, but I think it's gonna feel, dude. Something tells me it's gonna feel. Uh, the troll is so. The troll is such a noob, man. The troll is such a noob, man. In BFME 1, that would be never possible. Like, for whatever reason, the troll isn't attacking you when he's going back to the lair. There is no reason. How can this troll be so stupid? So dumb. Okay. The soldiers should be able to win the 1v1 situation, no problemo. He's scouting. I mean, that's, that's, I, I don't know, man, that looks kind of, that looks kind of strange, you know? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, in all BFME games, in comparing to all BFME games, in this game, Rise of the Witch King, creeping is the easiest thing in the world. Easiest thing. It's way harder in BFME 2, and it's something next level in, in BFME 1. You cannot creep a troll layer, not even with a hero. Not even lords can creep a troll layer in BFME 1, unless you have Carnage. You cannot put on the sword and creep a troll layer. The troll is gonna kill you, <laughs> you know, even when you're lords. Okay, the mill is gonna be defended. That's pretty good, actually, from him. Very well done. But there is one more push incoming with one soldier and one pikeman. Yeah, but, you know, because in, in many matchups, in many situations, creeping can give you a huge advantage. And the fact that you can creep it with every single unit in the game makes the reward easy to be get, easy to get, if you get, if you know what I mean, you know? Okay. Uh, just get this thing. Get the rubble. Get the rubble. Yeah, get the money. I mean, the money is going to be depending on the luck. Oh, get this. Nobody's taking care of this, but Ave is paying attention. He's going to get the money. Yeah. Ave got the money. The mill has been taken down. The wolf riders, they are trampling into the pikemen, which is not a good thing. The wolf packs can be used to kill the Rohan spearmen, though. They are the best count, in my opinion, to the pikemen. And when you think about it, you know, when you think about the faction generally, then you can feel like that Ingmar has, like, the best units in many certain situations. Like, your rangers, they are definitely able to outdamage every single archer in the game because you can combine them with the Felwind launcher combination, which gives you the chance to crush every clumped army. Your swordmen are the best swordmen in the game, the Plague of You have the tankiest calf units in the game, the snow trolls, with charge attack, which is also very powerful. And we have also the Witch King of Ingmar, which is one of the eventually one of the best um, expensive heroes in the game. Cringe, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Look, look, you see the wolf packs? They are crushing those pikemen. Nice pressuring, double barracks into the steeple. And Engmar is not going for level 2 just yet. But at some point of the game, we will definitely get the chance to see the Black Nomonorians, and eventually you will see 
how strong they are in the current meta. They desperately need some nerfs. But we decided to move on with the with the patch, so we will be using this version of the patch for the, until the end of the tournament. Because the one thing which is kind of disturbing and annoying is to switch the version, the patch within the tournament, you know, in the in the middle of the tournament. Okay, so 450 command points against 500, so it's pretty evenish in the command points department. And Mustafa has to find a transition into something stronger very, very soon. There is a push coming. The farm might be in trouble. We, ha we have our orders. Just kill this farm, no problem. That's good. The second all of the Kingsmen and the Steeple into the Gondor Knights. Um, the question is, are the Rohirrim really worth it? Because if you don't know, the Gondor Knights actually deal more damage than Rohirrim. Rohirrim costs 150 more than the Gondor Knights also 10 command points more and in addition to that you also need to invest 400 for the upgrade to level 2 stable and for that reason like in most cases you use calf to pressure and harassment so you want to destroy the enemy buildings with your calf and for that reason the more damage is always almost always more valuable than the more tankiness you have with the rohirrim the mill is going to be taken down that's good it's a very important mill one of the starting mills Man is pushing from the left, from the middle, and from the right at the same time. And also expanding very nicely. Again, in the current meta, it's very rewarding to spam farms. And you can see Abe is just using the builders to keep spamming farms. Spamming farms. Left, right. Left, right. You know? That's very powerful. Orc summon has been used defensively. Still level 1. Still level 1. This costs you 300 for the Black Demonorians. And Engmar is trying to push forward. But every single second matters. Because the time remaining is going down slowly but surely. And he doesn't have too many pikemen to back them up. So the Gondonets can actually trample them. No problemo. Especially those two units. Because they are off position. The wolf packs, they are... We are the Black Rangers. We are the Black Rangers. They are chasing. Alaikum salam, Gino. What's up? Bro, here in better for trample. But, but, but that's what I'm trying to say, you know, it's in most cases you want to use your calf unit for pressuring, for harassment. You don't want to use them for fighting. I mean, who cares about trample? When you trample the swordmen, you still kill them with the gun donates, you know what I mean? And you shouldn't trample the pikemen anyway, so... Oh, there are too many pikemen. The Gondonites are getting crushed. Felvind! Nice. Beautiful Felvind. Suck them in. Suck them out. And take them down. He was able to save. Oh, he sold. What? What happened? He went. What? It was kind of funny, though. They went straight through the fortress. What? The fight continues, but Ingmar has such a big advantage now at this point. But again, Ave is spamming farms. And this can be quite rewarding in long terms. And that's the reason why he has still the command points like his opponent has. Like, Mustafa is not ahead in the command points department, and Ave is still getting lots of cash. The level 2 farm, he's pinging me. Mescoza, thanks for the 9 months, my friend. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support. Really means a lot. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Mescoza just resubscribed for 9 months. Ahoy. Really means a lot. This is a very important farm, but he will be able to protect it for now. Archer range level 1, no ranges anytime soon. The barracks is being chunked. That's also a very important farm. We get to see more Gundabad orcs from the Trammaster. He keeps spamming units only without making any transition into something stronger. But he will finally be able to spot those farms in the middle. They are unprotected and killing them will hurt the eco from Ave a lot. Uh, power point wise, we have Ave sitting on 6.5 power points of the Rebuild and Rallying Call, which is almost available by the way. He's up to 6.75 command points still, which is a lot. And Mustafa is down in command points. Look at the minimap and figure out why Mustafa is still low on command points, lower on command points. The farm spam, I'm telling you, when you play in participate in this tournament, from what I've seen in this beta, the farm spam is so rewarding. Just spam farms non-stop. And you will always find a way to get back into the game. Will there be a ever? I just a 1.0? I don't know, man. I mean, somebody somebody was asking me a few months ago to do that also for beef me to 1.00. 
I don't want to cover multiple different patches from the same game. You know what I mean? It kind of disturb. It's kind of disturbing. Like I believe the more patches, the the, the more bad it is. You know, <laughs> because we have not 1,000 players to be split between five different patch versions. For that reason, we are always supporting one single patch in this channel for each game. Lots of Golden Knights up, up, upcoming. I was, I think, I was only casting one single game in 1.00. It was absolute clown fiesta, absolute clown fiesta. Lots of Golden Knights. I think a Nazgul, a fell beast, was able to destroy the fortress in like three seconds. What the heck was that? You know. The farm is going down. Archer range level one, stable level one, barracks, barracks. So four production buildings for Avi against. 3, 4, 4, also for Ingmar. But again, oh, he was, he was going for level 2. He also bought the banner carrier. So very, very soon, definitely we will get to, we will get to see the Black Monorians. Very, very soon. And Mustafa told me that they can win a 1v1 matchup, 1v1 situation against the Knights of Dolamrov. So if that's true, <laughs> I don't know if it's true, but... Oh, never mind. The Giants are coming. Mustafa is obviously demolishing everything. And that's going to be the victory for Ingmar. And Mustafa is getting the first W. Okay, so we go for the game number two on the same matchup. On the same map, on the same matchup. We have the Engma player Avi. Oh, he's saying Re. Yeah. Because we needed to swap the spots too. That's also very important. Again, you know, I think the goal of a balance of a patch should be to make every matchup. I know it's hard, but I think that should be the the aiming goal to make every matchup 50-50 that a good player that a better player doesn't lose games just because of the matchup differential you know what i mean that should be the goal and that's the reason why we are using this format too because that's the best way to figure out if it's matchup depending or if it's skill depending All right, here we go, boys. The game number two, the second attempt. Predictions? Oh, I think uh, Balindru is not around. Balindru should be coming soon, though. Okay, boys. We have the red man of the West player Mustafa versus the blue Ingmar player Abi Havi. We have seen this same matchup like a couple of minutes ago. It was a very quick game, and Ingma was able to win this, so the score is 1-0 for Mustafa. And let's see if Avi can do the same performance, get you know put on the same show like Mustafa did in the previous game. I missed the rolling call on my stuff twice, I think. Oh, that's bad though. That's bad. Early barracks coming up for man, which means eventually that he's gonna try to creep. Yeah, you see, he's already setting a waypoint to the trollia. The plan is to recruit the um, you know spearman of Rohan and creep. Again, when you want, you can also capture the inn and recruit some elven warriors. Two male hall of the Kingsmen into the third mill. I think what men need in this matchup, I think, um, are heroes like Elma and Elvin. They are actually pretty good against Engma, man. Because Elvin can one-shot the Thrall Master, which gives you the chance to kill a full battalion with one single throw, you know? And then later on you need rangers, like ranger tower guard combination. I don't think you need like two barracks and spam soldiers, spearmen all the time. Maybe you need to try your best and your luck with like more quality units. Like Ranger, Tower Guard Frontline, you have Boromir eventually for the debuff, you know, Faramir for the warning arrow on the enemy Trailmaster. Like this can maybe work. But I think men shouldn't try to outspam Ingmar. That should not be possible. Okay, he's trying to creep this. Should be able to do that, I think. Yeah, <laughs> the troll is so too <laughs> stupid. <laughs> this is IQ of five or one or minus five. I don't know what it is, but this is this is. I don't know, man. This looks odd. Oh, he turned, hit one time, and almost killed the full battalion. Okay, the soldier is coming also to the spot. It's gonna be a classic pikeman soldier push from Mustafa, and there comes the first round master. He was waiting patiently. With the Trial Master transformation, because there is a chance the man player might open with a steeple, and then you can turn them instead of an orc swordman, you can turn them into the pikeman. 
that comes to Warchant, the farm has to be demolished. When you can't keep it, you want to demolish it. Otherwise, you're going to get level 2. You got to get a full level out of that. You see? A full level, which means more damage and more tankiness. He will try to creep this now, by the way. And man player will be capturing this in. Which gives you the chance to invest 400 each for the Galadrim Warriors. This way, my friends. Sauron rush. Dude, Sauron costs 10,000, so I don't think Ingmar will be <laughs> able to do that anytime soon. Uh, okay, the man play is going for the 50-50 situation. I think he should just fight the enemy pikemen, though. Let's see. It's it's about luck, though. It's about luck. And Mustafa gets lucky. Oh, that's nice for Mustafa. He got all the money. Also, he will recruit Galadrim warriors. It costs so much money. They cost 72 command points, too. They actually are very expensive. Like, how much... He's got 60, 60, 75 for the tower guards. And 72 is like a very strange number too, right? 72, why not 70? Why not 65? Why not 75? Okay. Oh, that... That trample. But the wolf packs are eating those pikes alive, dude. It's the early strong transition possibility for Engmar, you know? You get the counter, pikemen... With a mobile unit. And I do believe that the wolf packs are just I mean and the yeah the wolf packs are just dealing too much damage to the pikemen. Just too much, you know. I've seen them eating them in the porcupine formation and still one-shotting them, the wolf packs. No other unit can do that. Okay, trample, beautiful. Mustafa for the win. Let's see. Again, it's a best of three. So, Ave has to win this one. There is no other chance. The builder from Mustafa has been taken down. That's unfortunate. The wolf packs. They have also the heavy spike called upgrade. And there comes the rallying call. The wolf packs are getting bullied a little bit. But they should be fine to disengage. They are just too mobile and too fast. The steeple is coming up now for man. Maybe you get... I think Elma could be a nice hero. Again, I believe that spear throwing abilities like Elma, spear throw, Elwin, spear throw can be very good. Because even Trauma's the units, they can be one-shotted from the Wolf Riders, for example, right? You can, like, insta-kill a battalion with Eowyn. Insta-kill over and over again. Big push. Level 1 and level 1. For now, it's all about spam. Spam, spam, spam. The Galadrim Warriors with the swords, they don't deal too much damage, though. Destroy it. Okay, he's kind of flanking him from behind. And Galadrims are shooting, destroying the extra overs, by the way. They are buffed, obviously, with the Rally Call. The Black Rangers. And there comes the cavalry. <laughs> Warchant has been used defensively. The wolf packs are going ham. And again, they will be eating those pikes alive. And the second the pikes are dead, the wolf riders, they can just trample the Alvin warriors on the ground. They don't stand a chance. They will be wiped out. But he was still able to put some pressure on him, you know? Again, there is too much mobility uh, with the combo so of the wolf packs. Death. What can men do against such reckless hate? Yeah, but nothing. You can do nothing about that, Theodin King. He will be able to find this mill and destroy it. Uh, we will very soon get some Gondor Knights. Very, very soon. We have already the first one. But I think the wolf riders are way faster <laughs> than Gondor Knights. <laughs> How tragic. How tragic. Do you think that Isengard is the worst faction in BFME 1? No. No. I seriously think that there is no bad faction in BFME 1. Which is, of course, way easy to be balanced in compared to Rise of the Witch King with 7 factions. I think Isengard can win every matchup. It's just different playstyle, you know? Like, in BFME 1, it's pretty much straightforward. Every, every cavalry has the, the same movement speed. Come. When the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship, but it is not this day. This day we fight. By all that you hold dear on this good earth, I bid you stand, men of the West. Stand, men of the West. Oh, Felvin, big, big clumping, big commitment. The wolf eggs, dude, they are so good, man. They are eating the pikes in a second, in a second though. I think what you need to do is now tower guards. Like, you cannot achieve anything with those Rohan spearmen. They get one-shotted. 
Peter, trample. Trample the back line. Yeah, Mustafa is paying attention. That's good. Beautiful trampling coming. Uh, there are multiple mills. Like this one, for example. In this one, they are hitting level 2 now. This one is also about hit level 2. And that means Mustafa has to try to find a solution to take them down. The stable level. He has two Gondonets queued up in the stable. And also recruits more and more of this Rohan Spearman. Maybe a second barracks could be nice. You know, you can get one barracks to level 1. And then the, one, the, the next one you can get to level 2. Get some tower guards for some stronger front line. And which can eventually tank the damage of the wolf packs for a longer duration. The Rohan Spearmen are just not it. They are just not enough to be a strong and solid front line. The Lone Tower has been summoned in the middle of the map. The Rallying Call has been used. And maybe you want to place, yeah, you want to place those arches inside the tower. Which is going to be hard. There is a tower coming up for Ingmar. But I think the tower won't be getting up. There are Gondor Knights and Pikemen. They will be able... Mustafa, I mean, Ingmar is cancelling it. The Builder! He's gonna get in safety, just in range to build the wall up. Should be in a fine spot. And there comes the big commitment. Wolf eggs, wolf riders, you know, too much mobility. Hard to keep up with the speed. Man is ignoring this and moving forward. Um, I don't know. There are two Hall of the Kingsmen. Everything is level 1. Trampling into the pikemen. Not the performance we are looking for. And in the meantime, there is a huge force of Ingmar. He has the Warchant ability available. He's gonna ride through them in Warchant all together. Oh, that's gonna be rough now. Beautiful trample into the Galadrim Warriors. They are not immune to trample, unlike in Beef Me One. Bad trample into the Pikemen. Gondor Knights, they don't know what they are doing. They are feeding power points for Engmar, donating power points, power points, power points. The farm is going down in a few seconds. The farm here too, but this is the most important farm. 11 power points. Might go for the Orc Summon if he wants to. Trampling the back line, that's good. And now you need to make a choice. Do you want to go for the Frozen Land or the White Summon? Or do you want to go for the, for the Orc Summon? Orc Summon will lead you later on to the Giants. He's beating them into the tower. That's good. The tower has no units inside though. I mean, he got the Galadrims out of there for whatever reason. There comes a statue. Okay. Yeah, he's going to get more Galadrims and eventually put them in inside the tower. This outpost can be very strong, by the way. It can be hard for the tier 1 units of Engmar to be destroyed. When you put arches inside the tower and you have like a statue behind, it will also affect the units inside the tower. It will make them deal way more damage. And you should be in a good spot. He went for the Oryx Summon. Again, lead you later on to the Giants. And will give you the Siege Potential. And we have Mustafa. He has almost no units upon the field. He lost the majority of his army. And he has not really a way of defending such a big force. Archer range level 1. Yeah... I mean, Barak's level 1, Steeple level 1, no heroes. Again, I'm still thinking that Ilma could be, Elwin could be a nice hero. Archers getting eaten alive. There is only one pikeman. If you can kill the one pikeman, maybe the Gondor Knights can clean this up. He has two battalions, but they the are so badly damaged. Come when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. This day, we fight by all that you hold dear on this good earth. I bid you, stand, men of the West! I mean, the men of the West is not standing anymore, boys. He's not standing anymore. He's losing a lot. A lot. The first hero is going to be Voldor from Ingmar. And yeah, maybe it's about the matchup. <laughs> He's gonna repair this. Mustafa! We need Aragorn to scream Mustafa! I mean... You guys have too many points. Too many points do you have. Too many points. The tower... Can be even committed on. I mean, he has no units inside. The statue is buffing nothing. And Voldor coming from the... Look, there is an offensive mill too. It's like the BM next level. Big commitment. Rebuild is on cooldown. The gun, the cavalry is coming also to support the push. Tower will be surrounded. It will be destroyed. I will represent the men of Gondor. The Meti Roms. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. And that's going to be the end of the game Ingmar number two. Ingmar must prevail. Ingmar will prevail. Ingmar is... Victorious, two out of two games. Oh, he missed the Rallying Call, by the way, on the one of the Gondor Knights. 
Mustafa is going to fight until the very end, but the end is near, my friends. The end is near. No, man, no. No, man, no. Like, Mustafa has still a couple of farms around the bottom right side, but... But that's, this one is almost level 3, by the way. Almost level 3. Trample. You can't. One Gondor archer. <laughs> we must join with him. We must join with some. It would be wise. I cannot <laughs> stop the goblins! <laughs> How tragic. And Mustafa has been defeated. Balindra will spam for Gondor and keeps defending himself. <laughs> so mind Mindshaft into the role of warriors. And you, you guys, you can't. I cannot stop the goblins! You guys. Okay, let me let me mute this real quick. Let me this is getting a little bit disturbing. A little bit. A little bit. I don't even know how to mute them. That's the first part about that one. Oh, I, I found it. I found it. What is this? No. Boom. Boom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boys. Uh-oh. Try to use them. All right. So, two farms. I want to use... The one thing I would like to use now is when Tyrion was talking to Gandalf. He was like, <laughs> You have no power here. Gandalf the Grey. Two, three farms, barracks, into the farm number four. No fun allowed? Yeah, it's fun for you, but it's not fun for everybody else, trust me. Two mineshafts, all of warriors. The sound effects are meant to be fun, of course. They are meant to be used in some, cir in some circumstances, but they are not meant to be used over and over again. And then you are not aiming for fun. You are just trying to annoy me you know that's the point give them back i will give them back later in the next stream you have no power here okay scam creeping action going on barracks into the second barracks um, this matchup, I think, it can go either way. We have seen this matchup already a couple of times in this beta. And I think Men was able to win more consistently in this matchup. So I think the win rate between Men and Dwarves in this matchup is like 75% for Men. Maybe 80% for Men from the games I have seen. That's a bad fight to take. Why would you fight this? That is, I mean, the problem is you have no other choice, to be honest with you, right? Because you either fight this and die... Or you don't fight this and you will die anyway because you cannot get away. There is no escape potential. Man is creeping at the same time. Uh, he's gonna eventually creep even this layer right after. Building more farms. And we will have an early, very early Forge Forks. That's pretty good though. Because it will kind of uh, force you... Force you to build some pikemen. Okay, that's gonna be a soldier pikeman spam, a push. One more soldier scouting the top side. This is such a powerful uh, spam tool for men. Spam non-stop, non-stop. Keep spamming all game long. Okay. I think the battle wagons got nerfed though, if I'm not mistaken. I've read something about battle wagons nerf, I think in Discord. Uh, when people were, comp I think Smog was complaining about battle wagons or something. In the because we were not, we were not sure if he would be using the beta or the current 8.5 version for this tournament. And then some people wanted to use 8.5, some people wanted to use the beta. And it's about democracy. I think more people wanted to use the beta. That's what that's what we are using right now in this tournament. Even though I'm not a big fan of beta. The one thing, I, I don't want to criticize anybody anybody's work, but when there are obvious bugs, for example, there is a huge bug in the game with the Corsairs and Taverns, I think this bug shouldn't be hard to be fixed. It should be like in 3-4 minutes done, and then they could have finished, um, or they could have released a new beta. Shouldn't be a hard thing to do, but unfortunately they didn't. Guardians are able to deal a lot of damage, and that's going to be the first push. Be careful with the battle of gold! Well, well, well. I mean, that's 800. 800. And that's... You lose so much out of that. So much. 
You lose so much out of that. Like, imagine if they would have double buff right now. Imagine that for a single second, how powerful this would be. The one Guardian should be easily able to commit and fight against like two, three soldiers at once. It would be so easy peasy lemon squeezy, you know what I mean? Mustafa doesn't recruit pikes, but he doesn't need pikes at this point. Um, because he has no calf as his opponent. Um, he will have to get another battle wagon. It costs 400 each, and then you also need to invest money for the upgrade on it. But Mustafa is not able to build any offensive mineshaft. And the best way of denying that is building offensively as men against dwarves. So your goal as men, I think, in this matchup is to kind of scout the map and make sure that your opponent isn't able to place mineshaft offensively to you. If you can manage to do that, you will basically shut down the entire existence of dwarves. And they will have to walk to you, which will take them so much time. A 1 me 2 situation. Um, he's gonna get one Guardian out of that and he will be able to find the farm into one more Pikeman. The man player was in the meantime creeping, uncontested by the way. And look at the spam though. I mean, he's spamming exclusively soldiers. Exclusively. And Pikeman. Tear it down. The positioning is very important. You wanna put the Pikeman in the opening. So if he's trying to defend us with a battle wagon, he's gonna have to run into the Pikeman. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, Mustafa is making rookie mistakes. <laughs> Mustafa and Avi in the same group, yes, sir. They are in the same group. I mean, to be honest, it was randomized, you know? I was putting the names in the, in the challenge, web, challenge website. And I was like, shuffle randomly. And that's what came out of it. You know what I mean? Can, will you host me versus Zulti? I don't know. Maybe I can do it. But if you guys don't want to wait, you can also play off stream. No problem. Again, the group stage matches can be played off stream too. That's not a big deal. Mustafa just lost a lot, over a thousand resources just because of this battle guns. It's a big mistake, in my personal opinion. Shouldn't be done like that. The mineshaft is going to be barely protected, um, but it's a snowballing matchup, and we're going to have a hero, Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you get Gandalf now when you have such a huge advantage, because you have 800 command points against 375, and now Gandalf could be good in this situation, but any, everything could be good in this situation. And then people are going to tell me, but Shanks, look, Gandalf is so good in this game. Gandalf is so good in this game. And I will say, shut up. Keep your tongue behind your teeth. I didn't go through fire and death to waste time with a worm or something. But I don't know what he was exactly saying to Warm Tonk. Look, he's so slow, man. He can, he's, so, he's as, war, as slow as dwarves are. Oh? Kill the full battalion, but still level one hobbit. Pep. I'm telling you, these hobbits are gonna kick Gandalf. Look, he's running! He's running! From Frodo! Frodo! <laughs> I mean, this is what bothers me the most, his movement speed, you know, he's so sloppy. It's like a, yeah, I mean, you can argue and tell him, but Chinks, he's old man. But so is Saruman. Saruman is literally twice as fast as him. At least he feels like it. I'm pretty certain that Saruman is faster than him on foot. Okay, the farm is going to be taken down. Um, he, now he needs to wait, you know, when you are not level 5, which, by the way, will make him passively to be Gandalf the White, then he will have lower cooldowns on his abilities, but... Until level 5, you have like low, longer cooldowns. <clears throat> the blue wizard. Again, I have a streaky, I think. 3,500. He used to cost 4,000. Um, now he costs only 3,500. 3, oh, do it, Ganov! Boom! Uh, oh, level 2. He's matrixing us. He's dodging the rocks like, can't touch this. They did it. They did it. It can touch this. It's now the lightning sword. He's gonna use it. I'm a wielder. Oh, Samwise Gamgee is stabbing him in the back. Use the thingy. The thingy. Frying Penny's face. He healed him. Frying Penny's face. Dude, use it. 
Take this can off, you old wizard. You didn't use it. Yeah, Gandalf is the win condition, by the way. That's why he's winning, boys. <laughs> Gandalf, 3,500. 3,500 he cost. But he's not as strong as in B for me, too. Trust me. Aragorn, too. Look at him. Look at him. Look, the King Elisar himself. Look at him. He's celebrating. He's like, yeah, finally, somebody recruited me in a game. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Blackened, 1917. Thanks for the primers for the second month, my friend. Appreciate the support. Means a lot. And welcome back. Blackened, 1917. Just resubscribed for two months. Ahoy. Okay, after I saw what I've just seen, nobody can tell me that Mustafa is not intentionally trying to give levels to the scandal. Like, I'm telling you, I, it felt like they make a special agreement, but my Gandalf is here, just feed me, so I can get him level 4, level 5. It looked intentional to me. Guys, I don't know about you, but this has looked like it's intended to me. This is like a gentleman's agreement or something. They made like a special contract before the game started. Because they know I complain about this hero all the time. Aragorn was creeping the trolley, almost level 3. It would be, I would be so... I would laugh so hard if all of a sudden Abi will start losing this game now. <laughs> because he invested so much money into those heroes. But he has still, still such a huge advantage. He's up to 875 command points, 850 versus 600. That's a huge power point differential. And level 4. Okay. He, after he lined up an army for a visa plus, there comes Ken of the Grey on his horse. And Faramir too. Like we have now the Fellowship of the Ring. Boromir, Faramir, Gandalf, and Aragorn. Aragorn to 2500, yeah. Gandalf also got indirectly nerfed in this beta. So the thing is, against dwarves, I think it's okay because they are slow to dodge the visa plus. Oh, the Builder. Look, he killed the Builder with the Lightning Sword. Um, but against mobile factions like Elves, Engmar, Men, Goblins, Mordor, Isengard, it's gonna be hard to land this. Look, another Battle Wagon has been feeden. Look, I can understand if you lose your Battle Wagon to the Pikemen, because it takes them one second to kill you. But if you ever lose your Battle Wagon in a one-on-one -on -one fight against Gandalf, Something feels not right about that one. You know what I mean? Is Mustafa building any units? He's going for level 3. Uh, he want to get the Dwarven Zealots. Because if, <laughs> I will tell you why, they are, why he's going for Dwarven Zealots, okay? Guys, ready? Ready? I will tell you. Because um, they give more experience points when you, when you lose them. To, your, to the opponent, so Gandalf is going to be able to level up faster. It's the only reason I'm telling you. Oh, he's going to buy Banner. He's going to buy Banner. Oh, I was expecting Sea Charmers, but why would you go for level 2 just to buy Banner? What? Look at this. Faramir, Boromir, Gandalf, Elma, Eowyn, Theory. <laughs> this is... Uh, yeah. Aragorn. Oh, Aragorn. Blade Master. Take this fortress. Take that fortress. Oh, we have Men of Deal and Pikemen. Gandalf is looking for the chains. And boom. Look, he shared experience with him. He's gonna turn now and attack the fortress. Even after a player who is intentionally feeding you, you're still not level 5. Men of Deal are kind of tickling. The Aragorn. Aragorn is taking no damage. He's also Atelas from, from the power. Eowyn smiting the fortress. This has been the best game I've ever casted in my entire life. It's so engaging, entertaining, and so skillful. There comes the Horn of Gondor from Boromir. The fortress is falling down. And Mustafa. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he has a heart attack or something. Or a brain attack. Because he was not actively playing this game, boys. He's gonna demolish everything now. Yeah. Okay. GG. <laughs> what the heck was that, dude? 